Hello. I want to show you another idea I had for my DEF CON talk. I already showed you the ammo can time game based on DOS Man's all little flash lights and so forth, and that's fun. But I had the idea to make a tutorial computer for how to pick locks. It's going to call it the Lock Pewter. And the idea would be is you'd have an Android based device that acts as a keyboard and it sends keystrokes to a computer or an Android device of some kind. Um, the idea being that a uh, Arduino device is kind of a pain in the butt to do an LCD display with. You can do it, but also the LCD these displays are kind of expensive for what they are, and I have Android devices laying around. Now, so far, the Android devices I've been working with have some problems with their JavaScript, and what's going to happen is the little lock toy will act as a keyboard, send keystrokes to some JavaScript on a web browser running in a kiosk software, and that's going to get interpreted and play different videos and show different graphics depending on what the person is doing. So if they just pick the wafer lock and say, okay, now go on to the pen and tumbler lock. And I don't have the full-blown version of that yet. Eventually, I'm going to go put it in a bunch of towers, or I'm going to um, put it in a little portable aluminum case like this. But um, that's a ways off. But I want to show you how it would actually work. I've been trying to get the work on Android devices. And by the way, if anybody finds a good web browser that has kiosk capability where people can't, people can't break out of it for Android, it's free, completely free, no titles, anything like that, no bars at the top. Let me know. But for my demo, I'm going to use my slightly failed uh, portable gaming system I've made. I was originally called this the Pick Boy. Now it's the uh, Lock Toy. It looks kind of like an Atari 2600. I had to add this like piece of wood here to get myself a little bit more room for my locks. Also, this case doesn't have enough room for a battery. So currently, I'm using it as a demo unit for what the Lock Pewter will eventually be. But eventually, Lock Pewter is going to be more like in those cases or several towers where the computer will tell you go here pick this lock here's how you do it so let's demonstrate how this works unfortunately I can't seem to actually get this to run right on Android it doesn't interpret the keystrokes properly while a full-blown web browser actually does so let me bring this up and the way it works is it sends keystrokes and it's going to change this video, the text, as well as whatever image is here. Okay, I get infinite view when I do that, so I better angle these things again. So it's running for the tutorial. So let's say I go ahead and I pick the wafer one. For the sake of time, I'm not going to pick it, I'm just going to lock it. And then it then proceeds on on how to do the pin tumbler one. Once you get the pin tumbler one, it can go on to the next one. And notice it's also changing this particular screen as well. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this eventually. Also, if I have a touch screen, I may make it where people can choose different games. I'm trying to work, get this to work on an Android device, but so far, not so uh, not so much luck of that. It may eventually just be a Raspberry Pi as the uh, endpoint for the kiosk software. And let me go ahead and lock this also. And there you go. Basically, this X is the keyboard and it controls the interactive tutorial on the screen. This is a work in progress and um, as you can see that's awfully crude up there, but it gives you an idea of what the eventual goal is. But thank you very much for your time.